so let's get going with that expulsum. Creating Expulsum is quite boring, but it nets you so much gold, it's so easy. I'm on 84 right now, and at the end of this, I'll probably have 150. And crafting trinkets with that. These guys will net me enough gold for, for investment pre apron 3 <coughs> um. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I love to answer them. Especially about the battle pet auction houses. Really getting into those and I've actually got one character with about 500k gold from just the battle pets it's pretty 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 profitable how much meals do we have left 23, so it's pretty good. Almost done here. some music for the background. I like this one. Hey, I um, Extractly Gaming, yo, how are you? <coughs> You're the one actually mentioned it in, one in under one of my comments, right? Do you stream? Do you have any questions for me you like me to answer? Yeah, I'm doing fine, mate. 
<laughs> crafting them expulsums for to get ready for 8.3. <laughs> How are you, uh, Manishio? You are quite an add-on for my channel, seriously. So, what are your methods like, extra fi extra? Extra Safi Gaming, damn that name. What are, s what are some of your methods? Good, good. Good to hear, Malicia. Malicia. <coughs> so, how's your gold making uh, going, Malicia? What servers are you on, uh, Extra Safi Gaming? Because it's really server dependent. I've, I'm currently on on two servers with crafters, and I will put on one of my second Draenor crafters on a French server. Because the file of the sands on the French servers that I'm on actually 100k each so I seriously want to go there So what ma materials do you actually find the most uh, profit in Manicio? Is it the, uh, the herbalism stuff? Like, what's the one called? <coughs> the green flower? Because I'm actually a bit stocked on Zenantid and some other stuff. To prepare myself for April three. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's really, re really the same as my tactics, really. Extra fire gaming. That's pretty good. Have you tried the battle pet auction house flip? Um, making making several battle pet auction houses uh, on lower populated t servers as well. Extra fire. Yeah, it's the first time for me to stream on YouTube, though. I have streamed before on um, Twitch, but uh, not many viewers there. And I already have like 250 plus subs over here, so on YouTube. So that's why I'm trying it over here. <coughs> I was online like an hour on Twitch, but yeah, how to uh, get to you guys fast so I let you know how to stream that I'm streaming, right? Oh, 
this is such a hassle. So, Extrify Gaming, I have one tip for you. And because you're the first guys that actually watch my stream on YouTube, I'm gonna share to you one of my biggest secrets. And that is make a battle pet auction house on a new populated uh, realm that will net you so fucking much gold. I should uh, not say that. <coughs> But seriously, new populated uh, servers are. Uh, s it makes me so much gold, seriously, on the battle pets. And I'll show you right now, actually. Is I have a window open right here that's doing nothing. How well it actually is going, because it's pretty nuts. You can actually see it in one of my previous uh, mailbox openings. This guy, this is a new populated realm, Turleon. For you, Manisia, your friends probably. But this guy is making me so much gold. Oh my god, this is... It's it's so good to have this add-on, Scrapify or something, uh, that helps you out with this scrapping. But I actually so agree with you uh, on this one, Monsieur. This is ridiculous. So we're on Turleon right now and this guy only from Battle Pets yeah, has 427k and it has 3 million worth of pets on the auction house. With uh couple of specials, right? So this is a TTC pet. Uh, Gusting Grimoire, that's the book. Can it show? No, it cannot show. Doesn't show. And I think there's also a Pappy on here. Yeah, there we go. This is uh, what you can get from Alliance. from Alliance um, B, uh, B events, if you get to round 22 or something, there's a chance this one will drop and it's so expensive. I've bought this one for 150k, so it's pretty good. How old is this character? Um, I think um, about a year, but... Um, in the last couple of months since I started making videos I've put so much stuff on this character <coughs> let's look at the statistics right so I've made uh, in about a year a year and a half I made two million gold but it's really picking off um, I already said in my uh, one of my last mailbox openings that I've invested millions and millions of gold on full pop servers and it actually translates so much faster right now so the gold average earned per day like 10k is just going up and up well 
most expensive auction sold, 83k. It's probably a black tabby cat or something. Yeah. Really, really loving the pet, pet auction houses. Um, I'll probably start uh, going going for YouTube streams more and more because it also delivers me direct subs, I think. So, uh, the Ithu Realms, not as much success as you, but probably don't invest, yeah, you have to invest so much, it's uh, <laughs> That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Well, good luck on your adventures, Extra Gaming, on your uh, new invented thoughts, new invoked thoughts. <coughs> um, I'm I'm playing on Medivh on French. And I'm starting, uh, I'm gonna transfer a Vile of Descent craft there, over there. Magnicus, yeah, of course. I've actually talked to him recently on, on Draenor. Uh, he's, he's, he was trying to sell uh, um, the, the Spectral Tiger and, and the Chicken Mount, right? And... Um, I didn't know it was him, but um, he was actually trying to sell at me for actual money. <laughs> well, he, he gave the option. He didn't really gave it, but he said like, how do you want to pay? With gold or something else? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, Magnicus, uh, he stopped making videos though. I'm kind of disappointed with that because he had the greatest, greatest videos on, on where to go for your pet battle auction houses and where what sells the best. So I'm kind of disappointed he stopped. He's still alive, yeah, seriously, he's still around. Uh, no, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't, yeah. <laughs> but I actually met him him in, in game seriously. I love this videos too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of done. <coughs> almost 150 so that's okay for now I want to get back to my Akuma hat farm for the most most rare recipe in the game I want to get that because I think I can sell even uh, um, some of the the top hats uh, the level 1 top hats Uh, just in a bulk, right? Uh, he did not delete the videos. He actually just hit them. His channel is still alive, but he hit all his videos. Um, it's about. It's really hard to say which which uh, profession in uh, 8.3 would be the most lucrative. I think the trinkets will go. Um, will have a, another boost. Like uh, they're not making new trinkets. At least they're not giving it out yet. If they will make it, so I think the trinkets will still be uh, a really really good profit. So that will be inscription. And at the start, at the absolute start of 8.3, you want to be an enchanter. You can even make gold without being an enchanter by uh, flipping smart. So, 
when 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 Wednesday come around, right? You can buy up all the enchants and flip them up to like two and a half thousand gold. And that is a really really easy way, even if you're not an enchanter, to get a whole lot of gold out of enchanting. But if you are, if you have an enchanter somewhere, you should do that. Make a ho prepare yourself for for the Wednesdays and the weekends because people will be playing the most then um, trading out their gear for new gear that they just looted and yeah and uh, enchanting and inscription is probably number two and yeah you can just always craft the uh, new upcoming uh, starting gear right it's gonna be item level 400 Okay, going to Akuma hat because I want that top hat recipe. And if I actually can get it on a live stream, that will be absolutely amazing. I don't know, I haven't asked him about that. Manisha, you want what you want to do really is get some gold on several servers because sometimes these spectral tigers go on the black auction house for about 3 million gold. So if you have yourself prepared on multiple servers and watch the black market auction house, you can get the spectral tiger really cheap. And you, and when you when you want to sell it, you can sell it for 25 million. You'll be golden. So make sure you check the black market auction house. It can also be in the black market auction house container, the forgotten container. So <coughs> that's a good one. If it's cheap, it's if it's about around about 100k. It's good to buy. There can be a whole lot of other mounts in it. Like every every super super epic mount that is unobtainable. Okay, let's get my third account in there. And let's hope for a Kuma hat. It's not here, it's not there. And my third one is it there? Come on, give me that chance. This recipe has about 1 in 6 to 10,000 drop chance. I'm doing this for about uh, 4 months now and it still hasn't dropped. And apparently I'm not in luck even for a chance. Buy third account. Okay, what can I do? I can make more breezes. Yippee!
So if anyone that is watching has any questions about battle pet auction houses, they are my best gold increasers and it's the best passive gold. So any questions on it, I will try to answer. Uh, this is my way of making Expulsion, by the way. Uh, TSM4 has a really, really awesome mailing feature. Uh, if you set it up, like... <coughs> the mailing option is, is just uh, right there at the operations. You go to mailing, mail mail it to uh, this character always press enter by the way if you want to set this up select the groups these items are in and they will all just go automatically really easy let's get these expulsion things done uh, while I'm doing this, I mostly do auction house scans. Do you guys have second accounts? Because it's just so much time saving. Some storm skill. Uh, this is the guy from my character transfers, and his mailbox is loaded already. With awesome, awesome stuff. Especially this one, the ATV. <coughs> How much is the, the ATV worth on your server? Let me know in the chat. This guy is not at this current good farming location. Tasty chicken, 30k. Money shield, 22k. Yeah, that's what I buy them mostly for. Extra fight gaming, like 15, 20k. If you want to do a server transfer, I have a video on it. So if you scroll down a little bit in my videos, it's one of my first videos, you can uh, actually stock up on the item like a madness, uh, like you, you want to buy like a hundred, post them on 
a medium pop server and they will go for like four times sometimes ten times the price that you bought them in for <coughs> so uh, only uh, server transfer with the ATV is actually already worth it but you can add a whole bunch of uh, unique mounts to it like the Thin Ring Ruby Cloud Serpent that will go pretty fast and what's the other engineering mount called? Mecha Mogul MK2 the other farm mounts you can get uh, from the auction house pretty cheap the Blood Feaster the Pack Mule uh, mounts like that Yeah, you can buy them for around 10k on some realms, yeah. It's because uh, you just need a, a little bit of ore, monolite ore, uh, some some other ore. Yeah, it's really, really cheap. Three blood of centrists. There are another centrists up. Fiverr, but I don't want to do anything for it. It's pretty easy. So, over here I farm for... Let's get the scan done. This, this farm, I, I'm actually surprised about how much gold this farm is getting me. I farm um, these these pigeons right there. Transmog die gold make. Is that a new thing coming to 8.3? Transmog die. <coughs> anyway, um, I farm... Um, where's that mount? For the steel mount harness, I farm Blood of Shinjuris here. And you need this shoulder enchant, Blood Hunter. And you also get 101 gear, 101 twink gear over here. And they sell actually really, really expensive. I've sold the other day one for 30k, and someone else flipped it up from me to 100k. So I hope he will sell it. <coughs> but these things also drop from this farm, so it's pretty, pretty crazy. Transmog, um, Transmog, with Transmog really, really goes good, at least for me. It's just that um, it takes forever to sell, and you will sell a lot better once uh, new stuff comes out. So at new rates, uh, new rate releases, you will you will sell more. And at new patch releases, like Shadowlands, you will sell more, just because there is uh, a way bigger um, uh, 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 um, there are way more people online to buy it. So that's the reason um, sometimes tra Transmog seems kind of dead, but it actually never really is. 
Like I can show you on one of my uh, uh, mailbox uh, in my one of my mailboxes. I've actually sold an elementium belt. Where is it? I think this is the one. No, it's not. Still have that on the auction house. Which one is it? This one. I've actually sold this one. Hardened elementium griddle. I'm gonna craft it. And send it over to my auction house character. So the transport market is actually never dead. It's just a bit slow sometimes because the wow population is not that high at that point. So right now it's about as low as it, it can be and in 8.3 it will increase again. Yeah exactly extra fire gaming, uh, the 8.3 will bump sales up. I will be right back. I have some private things to do. back with a new beverage and an empty bladder so I've got six right now and you can do this about every 30 minutes and it will reset the drop chance for these queries and nothing else really so moving on If you're watching and uh, you haven't seen my latest video, I'm doing a mount giveaway for 250 subscribers. I'm already almost on 270, so it's going pretty good. Let's see here. are good. I just recently uh, got up my Zendelari. And my Void Elf. With the Korak Revenge. It's just finished. But I got the Heritage Armor sets. And with this one I'm actually pretty happy. Because the losing was pretty boring. Uh, let me see. I really need to craft some gold on Draenor. Because I'm pretty low on Draenor. 
and I don't like it. <clears throat> what can I do on Draenor? Inscription on Draenor. Yeah, on the EU it was exactly the same thing. It was so saddening. At some point I was just AFKing because it was just so boring dying all the time. And because of the Dark Move Fair buff, the 10% bonus XP, you just didn't want to die, so you just found a safe spot to AFK. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, pretty sad. But on the Horde side, actually, you got two levels each win, so it was insane. <coughs> I must say, they must have made a change to the Korok Revenge uh, event, because it used to be that Alliance always won, always, but they turn it around for some reason. I think overall there are more Horde players at the moment, maybe that's why they did it. Though I went against Russians, Alliance Russians, and they won fast. Like in 10 minutes, the game was done. Let's see inscription. Ooh, there's a bit of profit on it, so sending that over. So let's check on the profession itself. Mm, there's not much gold to be made. So it's 80 gold. This is about 50, 50 silver each. This is about. Mm, check the the mills. divided by six is about four gold each so you can you can always profit on these things more than it actually says <coughs> so it's about 50 gold each hmm. still, still think it's bad though these contracts I need to make so Ultramarine pigment is needed. <coughs> um, am I gonna craft the pigment or buy it? Ninety-five. Nineteen silver. Okay, I'm gonna buy some of that. This I can actually buy the plants better for. Mostly river bread is lowest to 90. The goodness bite is the same. <coughs> so let's get some of that. Oh, I don't have any gold right here. Um, this post really fast. 
and go to training. Who is dancing? Oh, that's a new new friend, really. That's another gold making guy, uh, he also makes a lot of gold in inscription on a normal populated realm. Those glyphs are just out of the roof. Like the glyph of Stellar Flare, where's the Void Void one? That is crazy. Don't tell me I don't have any. K, 6.6k. It used to be like 10k. I know. <laughs> are you watching, dude? Randall's, are you watching? have to go to drain or to buy some Kundas bite or river bite. some gold because it's more easy. Also, get some. Uh, what's the best material? Do you guys know what's the best material for uh, archaeology to stack up on? Is it a Kundas bite that is also needed for for the for the stat potions? guy is busy for a while. 
You don't mess with alchemy? Oh, that is such a shame. It's such a good... I'm actually having the same thoughts as you, but it's actually one of the best gold makers. Especially when raids come out. And you have this uh, tools of the trade thing. That is such a good gold maker. <coughs> you can craft like 20 potions in one go. So with the materials of one potion you can craft 20 sometimes. Mm. On Drainer it's the same thing. It's super super competitive so I actually feel with you on this one. So what I do with this stuff, I always sell this. I don't know if, if you need it for new stuff, but always sell it. And it doesn't matter if your inventory is full, completely full of stuff. It will just collect in your mail. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I bet you do it on Tuesday nights or Friday or Saturday nights. Because that's the, the best times to actually do it. One you can actually add to that is the Fantas Ruin. This thing right here. You can make so much gold with it. Also resetting the market. least yeah if it's cheap when it's cheap like uh, thurs Thursday and Tuesday and Thursday nights it will be cheap Monday nights maybe <coughs> yeah exactly I actually need to craft a whole bunch of these Crafting costs is 260 and look at that profit, 1k each. Mythic rating is uh, shared at the moment. So if you want to get into mythic raiding for the last little bit of this patch, do it right now. Uh, you can just cross realm it at the moment. So that's why these fantasy runes are increasing in price as well. And it also makes it way more accessible for like everyone. So it's uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good to do right now, crafting these. How's the music by the way? Is it too loud or too soft? I don't know.
so <coughs> you can actually see right here also on this server drainer on the EU it's so competitive it's almost always losing gold there's just a few that you can make gold on but uh, I've already overloaded the auction house with them on normal populated realms there's 1k each to earn with so they sell less fast okay good to know that the music's good and some of them actually sell with 10k profit so <coughs> okay good to know the better gold making for inscription is right here wow it's all saturated <coughs> but I must say the video of, of my inscription uh, noob to pro guide is actually watched frequently it's about 900 views maybe that has something to do with it I've got a lot of uh, European watchers that shouldn't be that big of a crowd to make an impact like that huh nonsense Fantas ruins. Oh, by the way, <coughs> people are already doing this, but stock up on this item. People gonna want it in 8.3, the battle scarred augmented ruin. It uh, it was like 200 gold a couple of days ago, so people are really getting into it stuck up on this guy right here and you'll make a lot of gold yeah so oversaturated the glyph market it's a bit sad but if you if you um, if you want to start out on a new server like a normal or low populated server I think the low populated servers are a little bit dead but you'll be the only one uh, actually posting this stuff especially the legion glyphs you can make so much gold on really really easy
don't go to Mediv. Um, the money is here, don't go to Mediv. And extra fight gaming, you really, really should do some uh, about lower, lower populated realms. And it really doesn't matter which realm you go to, as long as it's medium, it should be okay. How's my competition going? Okay, that's pretty good. Here's my competition. I've got 96 entries. So it's gonna get exciting. Let's see how many individuals. 36 people are participating. <coughs> okay, so if you have a druid and you want to sell some glyphs you can actually make um, a class trial so you can make special glyphs and for the for the druid it's uh, glyph of the force path that's one recommendation Glyph of Disguise is pretty funny because if you pickpocket someone you'll change into that uh, being you pickpocketed. So that's a pretty good one. I don't have it even. Oh, there it is. But on medium pop realms this will go way, way higher because it's pretty fun. And you know how to get these inks, right? Really cheap. You buy these or obtain these uh, rose leaf pigments. Go to one of the vendors in the old world. And you can buy these rose leaf pigments. Uh, these inks, you, uh, you whatever you want with the rose leaf pigments. <coughs> so you can also make profit on that right this black fellow ink it's probably about a hundred gold each to craft even with the proper uh, plants but with legion stuff you can craft rose leaf pigment and they're so much more cheaper and you can buy one ink each pigment Yeah, the Dalaran Trainer, there's also one in um, Orgrimmar. Yeah, but exactly in my video. <laughs> there's one glyph of, of um, shamans. <coughs> I've seen, uh, you know, Hikons, the other YouTuber. Uh, he has a video on it like with this one item I've made a million gold each month and that's a shaman glyph you can maybe check that one out 
because that's pretty pretty good to craft also with the uh, with the class trial you can just craft it with the class trial that's that's pretty insane <coughs> Let's put that stuff on the auction house. With this one item, I've made a million gold. Something in the mind of that, that video is called. <coughs> I can try looking it up for a sec. Silver to gold challenges, yeah, so boring. find it that fast sadly <coughs> it's a pretty old video I think like one or two years old so have a look out for that one character to medium pop realm or you made a new character on new pop realm and want to start out on it because that's two really really different things If you're moving a character, I have a video on it, like the, the, the character transfer. And if you're starting out from complete zero, you want to have a look at your battle pads. Like, uh, invest... Uh, if I should transfer one or two characters to see new markets. <coughs> uh, that's a really good question. Um, what you can best do is, is uh, get a whole bunch of gold on your uh, current realm. And while you're doing that, you can make a level one auction house, dude and start selling battle pets so you can make a little bit of, of uh, 
uh, capital on it already. And I need to log out this one because I'll show you. So if you just pick up a uh, random normal populated realm, I think I have this one is my TSM list. Just create a new character. I like to make ni an, uh, Nightborn because he has a personal mailbox. one needs to be sooner. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he lost. <laughs> lost the race. Um, did he lose really? Yes, he lost. Now I need to reload again, or re-log again, just because of that. But let's see, a uh, completely new server, uh, what you want to do when you are <coughs> thinking about a transfer, right? So let's go to that one. Oh, oh I did it wrong again. Uh, it doesn't matter. As long as it's going a little bit fast, come on. Well, I think this is slow, but my girlfriend actually has a spin disk and she sometimes takes about five minutes to log in. And I'm like, oh, I'm like waiting three minutes for her to log in. It's like, uh. <coughs> but you want to open on your own realm, an auction house, and an auction house on the character transfer. And if you have two accounts, you can be super, super efficient at this. Because you don't have to write down a list of things. You can just open two windows. Mm, this is pretty populated, actually. So, you open two shopping stuffs. And you go around looking for items, right? So this is 70k. I have um, someone I can buy these for 13k. So uh, let's look at the ATV on this one. 190k. So okay, that was a random realm. Just check it out. A random realm. And look at that profit. This dude has posted... 31 auctions holy ho do you see this name guys Manicio are you listening extra fight gaming who's who the who is this <laughs> 
someone's making a whole lot of money right here and it's a famous person <laughs> yeah is it him is it's the it's the question right is it actually him holy moly <laughs> this is <laughs> This is, uh, okay, this is pretty funny. <clears throat> okay. Um. <laughs> oh, how is the other one called? Um. Blood Feaster. Reigns of the Tame Blood Feaster. For, I think it's that one. Yeah, there it is. So these reigns. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Either him or a fanboy. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Um, Reigns of the Taint Blood Feaster. You can probably buy uh, at your realm a uh, high or full pop realm for about 20k. Uh, Magicus is the most uh, rich guy in World of Warcraft. He's the absolute most rich guy. Um and as you can see this is a pretty good flip as well so you can take one because it's unique yeah like um you can multi box this and on full pop realms there's a whole bunch of multi boxes Mostly they are. On my normal populated realm, they are 100k plus. <coughs> but on full pop realms, because people multi box it, they are so much lower in price. It's insane. If you do um, a guild bank transfer, you can stock up on these. It just costs. Uh, 10 euros extra to transfer a guild bank but if you have enough gold you can make a lot of gold here look at this guy right he's got 10 posted <laughs> yeah with the guild bank transfer you can uh, uh, carry as much unique items as you want just cost a bit extra. So what else is there? There's the tendering Ruby Cloud Semperant. I need to post it back on the auction house because I've bought these for about 16 to 18k and it's flipped up. They usually go on full pop realms for about 16 to 18 Okay, so <coughs> this is a good one to take with the character transfer as well. Let's check it out. Tundum Ruby, it's 50k right there. Raven, I'm, I am playing on Defy's Brotherhood, fanboy. I actually have characters right there. I have uh, um, a Void Elf. I have my um, my blacksmith is there. I have uh, I have uh, so much over there. Device Brotherhood. So this is uh, my blacksmith. This is a uh, newly enchanter uh, and tailoring. I'm trying to get the 
um, the top hat recipe on it <coughs> and a whole bunch of other stuff an inscription crafter of course and I leveled this one up as you can see these totems you get from the heritage set so device brotherhood ad has actually been do you know if it's any good well to go to um, not super like some pets you can sell pretty good over here but um, <coughs> there are actually more gold makers than players I feel sometimes on the Fires Brotherhood so it's not it's a, it's kind of a tough market on the Fires Brotherhood <coughs> Uh, the targeted realm of my transfer is Thunderhorn, that's a medium pop realm, but since I did these videos on my channel and I revealed like a couple of weeks ago that I'm going to Thunder Thunderhorn with my videos, with my transfers, this market is getting a little bit saturated. So it's actually best to do what I'm doing right now, just to check out a random, absolutely random, medium populated server and check out how the market is right there, how saturated it is. And as you can see, this one right here is on... Ankiraj and it's actually really good <coughs> so medium pop means that um, it's connected to four other realms and the population is about two and a half thousand people with accounts there uh, low pops you can make the most gold on but there's uh, such a big but. There's about 50k people playing on these realms. So it's it will take you uh, way longer actually to, to make gold. But uh, you have less competition. So you have to log in less to get more gold out of the, the stuff you're selling. <coughs> So it's a better passive um, transfer, as uh, it's better to have passive gold. <laughs> yeah, Ankuraj is, is not that, that uh, populated of a server, but it's really good to make gold on from a full pop server. So if you have a lot of gold on by uh, say uh, on Draenor you can probably make 2 million into 8 million by by buying the proper items sending them over and selling them like once once every day you just log into that character and post everything on the auction house that you got transferred over But let's get back into how it looks, right? What you what you can look for. <coughs> High pop servers are about four hundred to five hundred K. So you got Device, Brotherhood, Ravenhold, Sporgar, and another one are mixed up into one. That's about five, four to five hundred k. And full pop rounds like Draenor has six hundred to seven hundred k plus uh, people on one realm. <coughs> so they are not even connected to other realms, and they still have that insane amount of people on them. Okay, um, let's see, 
I like this one because it's such a rare drop. The mule. <coughs> Come on, where is it? There it is. Chewed on reins of the pack mule. There's only three auctions on a full pop. They're 250k each. Let's see here. <coughs> reins of the pack mule. Actually, someone did this already. And you can make about 200k gold <coughs> 150 for this one but yeah I actually don't want to say it but I'm gonna say it anyway I'm the only one on Thunderhorn with this one and I think this guy is also the only one over here and I'm posting it for a million I don't know why this guy isn't posting it for a million because it's so uh, such a rare drop you can actually post it for a million. <coughs> and I hope it sells, but we'll see what's going to happen. I hope I will sell it in the patch 8.3 when there's a lot more people coming back to the game. But this is one I really like to transfer. Um, let's see another one. That's the Mecha Mogul. I think I will flip this one. Do I have enough gold to flip it? Is there only three posted for pretty cheap? And you just look at this right here. <coughs> one posted for so much, and one posted for so much less. You can easily flip this up double if you take it with on a surfer transfer I do not do raw gold farms at all I don't like to waste time on it seriously I see <coughs> I think that gold per hour is such a waste of time you can do it if you are actually looking for uh, transmog items. Then you can uh, roll your alt through uh, the raids and stuff. But raw gold farms? Nah. It's not for me. I'm a millionaire and I can make gold with gold. That's the easiest gold actually to be made in the game raw gold farms I don't I don't like I seriously don't like that's why I don't have <coughs> any videos on them so a whole bunch of people actually do that raw gold farms and farms for pets farms for toys farms for for all kinds of things and I profit of these guys that's how my gold gold making strategies are actually I do some world quests now and then but not really for the for the rewards you get from it um, just for fun or for the heck of doing it for the reputation but um, I think raw gold farms are a waste of time you can make more gold with gold you already have that's that's my strategy really uh, so okay what if you have a small amount of gold how do you start um, if you look at my inscription video that is actually the the, m the least buy-in so if you do a couple of world quests and emissaries you have about 20k gold if you start out making glyphs 
especially the legion glyphs they have a really really good return <coughs> so if you invest like the 20k you uh, you have from the emissaries and stuff uh, you can easily make that into like a hundred K within a week yeah um, fan guy flipping is really risky so uh, if you want to get into flipping you want to have already some um, some gold set up so you can actually lose the 44k to like 30k so you have 15k loss on yourself that's when you, what you want to keep in mind if you start flipping you can profit a lot but it's the most risky um, thing to actually make gold on but professions trust me that's the best gold the safest gold you can actually <coughs> put your gold into to make more gold just invest a little bit into materials and they will transfer with the profession and I suggest inscription um, Legion glyphs are really really easy to get you get the first amount of glyphs yeah, I think it it says how to get the Legion glyphs you get the first set amount of glyphs from doing the couple of quests at the trainer in uh, the new dollar run Uh, so you get the first couple of and if you do more quests you get more glyphs and if you look at the unlearn tab you can see how you can get more glyphs and the amount of profit you get from it so I think my um, from new to pro inscription video is pretty good and it can start you off uh, with gold making it can actually be uh, a bottom but it does dep depend on if you're on a full pop um, realm or normal pop because the prices uh, and the market saturation really depends on it <coughs> uh, I'm gonna get back to my own gold making because I'm getting a little bit into uh, too much into this this stuff right now um, I was checking out the mecha mogul right and I might want to flip it <coughs> I hope that n no one that actually <laughs> just seen it flipped it in front of me Yesterday I bought a file of the sands from trade trade jet for 41k. 41k. That's all the materials for 11k. That is so cheap, guy. That is so cheap. You will sell it for 62k. At least that's what I think. 41k. That is too cheap, dude. Okay, so I have one, two, I can just buy it, really. Let's get it. <laughs> Someone buy it! Yeah, I just bought it. And let's put it back on for 150. Let's see how it goes. I don't have any gold left until next Sunday, so that's pretty shitty. I got some days left to go, so yeah. 
for before my next mailbox opening, so I might have to candy some out for some panther crops. Okay, so putting that in the bank, and I need to post some of these because someone else flipped them up. At first, he was selling for 50k, but I said 40 or nothing. Yeah, I really hate when I get these kinds of of uh, whispers 40 or nothing and he was like please what will I feed my children oh my god I finally <laughs> finally bought it for 41k what will I feed my children well your your two hour farm for this one mount you will feed your children I am ruthless yeah <coughs> but the children exactly you you fanboy you you greedy greedy son of a guy you just uh totally starved out so much children in world of warcraft oh my god That's the gold making market in World of Warcraft. Kind of ruthless. But you probably make a whole lot of gold out of it, right? Bad guy? Fan guy? Bad guy. No, um, sometimes you just have such good deals at the materials. But this guy actually... I think this guy farmed the materials himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better have. <laughs> so sometimes I don't even care if it goes for 50k or a bit less because I had such a good deal on materials. Sometimes you get these life and here, Ashar's Fail. Right now on Draenor, Ashar's Fail is 18 gold. It usually goes on, on lower populated servers for 100 gold, if you're lucky, and there's enough. So I think there's a multi-boxer going out for these materials. And the volatile life, that is where the most gold is actually made. But sometimes you just get these materials for really, really cheap, and it doesn't matter if you go for 50k. Uh, let me see your operations. That's a really, really good one. I had a video request for that one, so I'll do a video on it. So this is my operations, and it says what it does, right? This one posts 10, this one posts 2, this 20. This one's for 25 pets. That's a special one, so I'll show you that one. So I don't want to lose gold for level 25 pets. That's why I set the normal price to 125 dB market. So at the cheapest that is posted. I will not let it undercut on 95% dB market. So if you're a little bit familiar with it, if someone... Uh <coughs> If the pet is 30k, it will automatically post a, a level 25 one for 125%. It will just automatically do that. If someone tries to steal the level 25 pet from me, it will not undercut under 95%. And because I'm <coughs> doing these pet auction houses, uh, as lazy as possible I just post uh, once every two days I don't really care if it if I miss two days 
so that's why I put this on 95% so it will just post it on the normal price the 125% I don't want to lose uh, too much gold on it <laughs> okay I see do you have a spin disk or a SSD hard drive because that's really important if you have a SSD hard drive it's no problem I'll show you this is my loading time in Dalian and I have two SSD hard drives Yeah, um, I can't wait for the new corruption gear, really. And see how the actual game feels like playing. I have no idea. Okay. <coughs> That's actually quite cute that you don't have any idea on uh, what kind <laughs> of hard drive you have. Um, okay, so let's go back into the operations. This one will post three stacks of three items. And what kind of stuff is in there? It's the same uh, what I have in the five operation. Posts of one item five times. Like the Vantus Ruin. I can actually... Um, export the whole stuff uh, how do I export it like control V and can I just post it uh, in in here in the stream like in the description or something where is it How do I do that? Because if if I ju if you can get this list, you can have a really really long time at uh, how I have put my my uh, my groups up. can just take take 30 minutes to, to have a really really good look at it okay so it doesn't really work uh, let's see if I can get get it on my blog site um. Bowser can I post this in the blog Yeah, log in, after you. Hmm. I can't get it to work this fast. Um <coughs> how much is the room under a video? Uh, this this streaming really takes a lot out of my computer actually makes it a bit slow so I will put it in the shop mount giveaway description let's see if it works if it has enough uh, room for it is um operations mm, no it doesn't work no oh 
there we go holy holy moly okay so I think I posted it a couple of times uh, that is slow so it's like my computer is running on snails at the moment and I'm trying to remove the triple posted page you're just seeing now on screen. I think I'll just cancel. No, need option. Don't save. <coughs> so I will put it back under the uh, description of, of, of the mount giveaway. DSM operations just post once and can it save? I don't know okay so you can only post 5000 characters and it's 31,000 characters so I can't post it there <coughs> Good, I see. Um, it's in the dollar run. Uh, you just have to do a couple of quests and it's in dollar run itself. It's super, super easy. I've done it for about four of my, my realms. Three, three realms. So it's super easy. Uh, you just, uh, uh, when you go up the ladder, that's the last one for the, for the absolute base cliffs. And that is the point I got up to for my alts so it's super easy to get what you can post what you see on my mailbox openings <coughs> so that is a good really really good startup point in my opinion I need to do something private I'll be right back And I'm back. Um, so about the operations, I will try to find out a way to get this operation stuff posted somewhere. Because, uh, yeah. <coughs> this is how it looks. Post of five, post of four, post of five, stack of five, post of eight single a basic post of one one a post of five stacks uh, of 200 and a silent one so I don't want this stuff posted at all so I did nothing I did nothing with it I didn't do this it will just post nothing because it's not connected to any group <laughs> I 
Ei. Yasin. Yeah, so I will uh try to find out um how I can post this that whole list that you just saw and I put it in one of my upcoming videos. Paste bin. What is that? Am I a noob for not knowing paste bin? Pastebin.com. They've been Google then. <coughs> Number one paste bin. Yeah, okay, so how do I use this? It just has a. F yeah, I don't have. Okay, paste bin. Export next. Why doesn't it have everything? Export everything next. Why doesn't it do it? There we go. Just copy paste there. Do you have the herbs to farm? Because I have a set DK. Nice. Um, I buy the herbs, really. It's not such a super big investment just a fell worth you have to buy uh, you have to watch out a little bit for not to buy too many of fell worth because they are pretty expensive uh, the other herbs are pretty cheap or you can buy it with blood of syndras at the at the vendor right so if you have some leftover blood of syndras and you don't want to invest too much there's a vendor right here that you can buy the other except the fill worth you can buy the other uh, stuff but on a full pop roll uh, it's mostly pretty cheap if you're just starting the to, to do this on a normal pop roll the the market is probably not too much looked at so it's probably cheap and yeah as I already said right I'm a lazy guy so um, I just buy it from the auction house and make profit on it because the profit is good enough anyway uh, let's go back to the paste bin um, um, paste expiration never paste exposure public Paste folder don't have paste title sign up with my Twitter so sign up or login sign up with my Twitter um, my Twitter account password Shh. 
Okay, there we go. <coughs> Optimize, yeah. Is it posted on my Twitter right now? Or something? Come on, hurry up. Um, no, it doesn't show on my Twitter yet. New paste, paste. Create new paste. Um, okay, so it is on the paste bin, I think. And it's in this link. Can you see that? And how do I... I'll just put it on my Twitter and see what happens. Oh, my computer is so slow. I don't know why. Okay, so it's in my, it's on my Twitter. You can get to my Twitter from my channel page on the bottom right corner. There's a link to my Twitter, and I have put my operations there. <coughs> uh, into the chat because it won't let you just copy the ending of the link well it's on my twin it's on my twitter you can just uh, click it there so I just tried it and it works so back to the gold making oh, only 100 left I need to buy some more of that stuff My beverage is almost empty. And I'm gonna roll a new bag. If you're new watching this, uh, my speciality will be for the upcoming months the battle pet auction houses I will expand to about five more battle pet auction houses you're welcome Yasin you're welcome Lucian uh, that will be the main focus of my gold making because I think uh, setting up these battle pet auction houses you can uh, put only uh, if you put in two hours on one battle pet auction house once and just post it it takes like one minute every two days it's the best setup passive gold in World of Warcraft in my opinion. You can also add um, BOE flips but you, uh, you can best wait for it until the new raid comes out starting that because um, they're a bit chancy and the effects on the new gear will just blow the other ones out of the water I think and I will definitely have a look into flipping BOEs in 8.3 but I did not have any um <coughs> I did not have an enough gold to risk for that kind of stuff so I started flipping the mounts which 
I have good experience with and um, I can actually say it's pretty safe to flip these mounts BOEs are a little bit more risky because if you get undercut really heavy you have to either buy it up or wait the other guy out it's actually working exactly the same with the mount flips so yeah what do you suggest for someone playing on a full pop realm and on hijal is that us or eu but a full pop realm you just have to put like what i'm doing right now is on a full pop realm you have to put in a lot of time a little a little bit of extra calculation so you make sure you're making gold because on a full pop realm this is not always accurate what tsm is telling you because you can actually make profit on this it's about <coughs> um what did i just calculate about six gold each crimson ink with your time invested in it so you can make uh, eight times six you can still make a little profit on this war, war scroll <coughs> but yeah that is actually what uh, what where you have to make your gold so it's on the EU So you have to do a little bit of research in what you buy, how much you buy it for. Uh, it's it t it just takes a little bit more time because so much people are already doing it. Uh, the good thing, the best thing about being on the full pop realm is you can buy pets, mostly really cheap, and post them back on uh, lower populated realms with so much profit. <coughs> that's why I make gold on on the full pop realm and I suggest you do But making gold on a full pop realm uh, is actually pretty tough. <coughs> but if you get gold there, if you find out ways to get gold there, like um, the Mecha Mogul I just flipped, I just did that uh, 10 minutes ago, and I'm hoping it will sell. I'll just do a cancel scan. <coughs> Let's look at the trinkets because that used to be my main gold income. Ooh. Look at that! Someone just flipped it up. I need to make some of these right now. So I need to put my stuff away. This 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 did not happen for a couple of weeks, and I did not bother for a couple of weeks because there are just too many people that are undercutting it like to 1k instantly. <coughs> but it just happened, and I'm gonna enjoy it. Would you have a suggestion on what realms to do? Hut flip. Invested a week ago around 200k on Draenor, and now I have around 400k value on three different realms. Only f three, four si sales so far. So that's the thing about pet pedal auction houses. I think you're doing pretty good with three to four sales, because lower populated realms are lower populated and have less ask for the market. Uh, but uh, since people are getting more and more into the pet battle, uh, battle pets, um, 
I think it's it's the best investment you can do right now. I have heard something about a phone app for for battle pads. I'm not sure about that and how how trustworthy that uh, information was. But if that is actually putting through, uh, your battle pads will probably increase in value even more. But I think you're doing pretty good on three different realms. I'm doing uh, about eight realms with battle pet auction options only. And <coughs> how much time was it? A week ago. Yeah, in one week. That's pretty good, man. That's that's uh, that's what I can say about it. It's pretty good. If you're doing three for sales, how much gold did you get out of it? Also, really good investment is the Battle Scarred Augmented Rune. If you can get it about uh, 200 to 300 gold right now, it's one of the best investments you can do for 8.3. Someone already flipped it up on Draenor, so it's a bit sad for me because I just wanted to do it, but I can't. Let's get back to the ink crafting. Was three lucky sales flipped four to five K into twenty to twenty five K and two point three pets at three to five K max. Yeah. So I think you are doing really, really well flipping these four or five K pets into twenty to twenty five. And the thing about this passive gold income with battle pet auction houses is that it takes so freaking long uh, for some pets to sell but if you make these big sales if you invest in one pet that costs like 100k and you sell it for 500k on a lower populated realm three months later you still really really happy about that sale and that you did the investment for it sometimes it does take that long you've picked some pets that will sell in uh, about a week and good luck for you for that one because it is pretty lucky uh, yeah and that's just the amount it takes right you just put so much gold into into bet battle pets and yeah <coughs> it takes really really long that's just uh, all I can say about it, really. 
I think it's the best passive gold you can make and you're doing good seriously I wasn't this lucky uh, with my first choices of realms but it's also the the pets you you uh, select right you can also check out um, all of my three things to keep stock on three things uh, items to keep stock on they are um, there are pets in there that um, <coughs> have a really really good return it's not much like you invest like 400 gold and they return for 5 to 10k gold so it's pretty good but not that high it's really good to start out with um, Anchor Weed if you can get Anchor Weed for like 70 gold 60 to 70 gold right now it will go uh, it will explode in the start of 8.3 it will absolutely and definitely guaranteed yeah I can say guaranteed but it's like 90% guaranteed it will explode um, because the undermined journal do you do you guys know that website the undermined journal I'll try to pull it up <coughs> uh, at the undermined journal you can actually see that uh, these kinds of weeds uh, every expansion every raid expansion doubles or triples or four uh, times four in uh, um, expansion updates right in raid updates not expansion updates so if a new raid comes out these kinds of things will uh, explode for a while and uh, yeah eventually we that will die out again so make sure you post them when 8.3 comes out because there is just so much more demand for potions and stuff <coughs> that you can craft with this Uncle Weed. So make sure you invest at least some, right? If you have 50k, uh, spend like 25k on Uncle Weed. If you have a million gold, spend like a half a million on Uncle Weed because it's worth it it will explode it's already increasing in price so here's some numbers on it uh, this is on Draenor it's a bit expensive already it's going up in price because people are investing in it uh, daily can we get a weekly this is a yearly, isn't it? February, yeah. January. So you can see actually right here, people are already starting to invest into Uncle Weed because they know it will increase in value. So you can see the, the the graph is going up already. I think this are these are stacks. But it used to be a little bit lower and coming up to a uh, raid expansion it will peak and it will go down again. So it will peak at 8.3 and it will don't go down again pretty soon after that because there are just a bunch of multi boxers on a server like Draenor. So make sure you make a lot of profit out of it. If you wait too long, oh yeah, you will judge it on Sunday, yeah? <coughs> 
so I hope you get uh, a couple of more sales because it's a couple of more days to Sunday and yeah so last week I had like 600k in battle pet sales that was like crazy and I think um, it had to do a lot with the vacation that is bound to New Year Christmas and New Year yeah fun guy I suggest you um, invest some I think that's a good idea I have to get some more beverage Okay, so I have about 20 minutes left on this stream, so if you have any questions that you want to get off your chest, you better start asking. This is what I do mostly on full pop rounds for the most AFK and boring gold. You can do a lot of stuff while making gold like this. You can make it uh, go like 30 minutes like this. There's one add-on you definitely want to put on your crafting characters and that is Zandalari crafting glove enchant. It's on on full pop realms. It's about twenty gold, and it will cut down your crafting time in half. Um, Ubla. Better to buy herbs for encryption and leveling. So what you can do with uh, inscription leveling, because these materials are so cheap right now, I don't, uh, I don't think it's worth your time. If you don't have gold at all, it's better to farm it, obviously. But if you have a bit of gold, like 100k, and you invest like <coughs> 20k, you can get it up pretty easy to 120 and with some expulsum so if you have a tailor alt you can make these bracers that you can make expulsum with uh, spend a couple of honor tokens in Nashatar to get the uh, recipes to put put down the um, expulsum cost on the in inscription stuff, like you want to get this offhand level 3, and I think I used this one to level up with, so I had it level 3, so it costs one expulsum, and you can level it up to 175 with 50 expulsum with just this. You have a whole bunch of this, but you can just put it into the machine right there and maybe you'll get some expulsion back and afterwards just craft a couple of these a couple of trinkets because at 175 you can just craft trinkets and get a whole lot of profit out of it any quick ways to farm blood of cinders or other than the blunt blood hunter enchant and wait for world quests. Yeah, no. 
there's not. <coughs> not in my experience anyway. So if you have a trade skill, you want to have two trade skills. So you can get, um, sometimes you have these uh, hand in a crafted item for 10 blood of cinders. That's one of the best, but that's waiting for world quest, so you eliminated that. And the other thing I do for Blood Hunter of for Blood of Cinderus is with the Blood Hunter enchant. And that's the um the the pigeons I, I killed. I did that earlier on the stream. I can do it again if you want. But that's actually the only two reason, two things you can really do to to farm this blood of cinders. There's no other faster way. Uh, yeah, not in my opinion. <coughs> so. A uh, crazy thing I can say about this blood of uh, Cinderus. <coughs> My brother was actually super, super active in um, Legion. <coughs> and he had like a couple of thousand blood of Cinderus. And I think it was uh, 20 million order hall resources. So you can get Blood of Cinderus with Order Hall resources. So if you farm Order Hall resources by doing world quests in your class hall in Legion, you can translate them into Blood of Cinderus. That's, uh, that's actually another way to get Blood of Cinderus. And you can actually farm it. Maybe that's a really, really good topic for a video actually. I have a follower on my main character that gets four, 400 extra for the whole resources. And I think it's 200 for one blood of Cinderus, 200 or the whole resources for one blood of Cinderus. <coughs> Yeah, the only thing uh, you can actually farm it with is the order hall resources, yeah. Because <coughs> you have like a whole bunch of world quests you can just one shot, right? So it's really easy to do world quests in Legion. There's uh, one thing thing that you can get um, uh, a legendary uh, I'll show it follower item That means you have to, you have all time, all, yeah, that means that you kind of have all the Legion Warrior followers max, but sometimes it's in the new chart, yeah, that's actually true. 
This is my absolute main character. And uh, let's go to Dalaran. Yeah. <coughs> but if you if you actually do that and you, um maybe it's actually a good idea to do with my um blacksmith to get easier blood of centuries. It's actually a good idea, Lucian. But once you have done it, it's not that, yeah, you, you, yeah, 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 yeah. It's still doing a couple of world quests for order hall resources and stuff, so, yeah. It is an investment. Uh, let's see what kind of stuff she has. So, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. So this is the um, legendary item, 10 gold and 100. This is an epic that I don't know where I got it from anymore. And this should be an epic as well. But I get, I don't know why I get 400 bonus of uh, order of resources per world quest I'm doing. We have a single kill. Yeah, that's a defeat. It's not a single kill, not a single kill. Come on. There are next lane. Okay, let's go there. How, um, yes, that means you kind of have to do lower magnets, a lot of time invested. How you get them easier with blacksmithing? <coughs> yeah, I only do the, the farm of the seagulls right there, and right here you can do, yeah. I don't put effort at all into doing world quests except doing the 10 plus. It's mostly just uh, waiting for the world quests for doing one laystone armor piece. But if you do uh, the, la the 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 seagulls every every 30 minutes, you can do it. It's actually a pretty good one. At least, yeah. That is the only one I think is worthy because you can also get 101 twin gear and that sells from 10 to sometimes 100k apparently. So that's pretty good. And that's bonus on top of the farm for, for an amount that you want to craft, right? Here you go. I don't know why I get 400 bonus resources. This thing gives me 300. Uh, where the extra 100 comes from, I have to find out then. Huh? I don't know. 
but let's get back to I've s I forgot to do the missions so I'm just gonna do the missions this reputation you get from it you can get mounts and toys with so that's why I still do these missions in Legion I've got the Thalager mount and um, this mount the Nightfall mount the other ones I still have to get but the Thalager mount is actually the absolute coolest uh, how is it called? some kind of drake gold drake no it's not called drake where is it? Yeah, that's the one, the Felager Storm Ring. That is so cool. And actually fitting my transmog really well. <coughs> and if you just increase in size a little bit. And cast it then. Boom. It looks like an actual raid boss. So I have 10 minutes left on this stream, so if you have any questions you want to get off your chest, you better start asking. There's the there's these um, weeklies. This you can do once a week for a thousand ordo resources, and that's five bloods as well. So you can actually get a whole lot of Blood of Hindrance in one day, but you just have to do the Legion stuff. You have to keep doing it, really. So it will be always a farm that uh, you cannot really put on passive. That's the uh, a bit of a sad thing, really. You can get some from um, the order hall missions but it translates order hall resources not super efficiently into bloods but you can also buy right from this guy ooh it's a thousand order hall resources for five bloods okay so that was a miscalculation on my part So every thousand order hall resources you can get Blood of Sandra's with. And with your board you can get mostly double extra Blood of Sandra's. And obviously I need to get some more followers if they're depleted. <coughs> So if you get the double one, 
the gold and if you do not it's actually not worth even sending the mission you can also make gold with this primal sarin gate and I think I'll get back to that one in an up upcoming video or stream because uh, that's from Argus a little little spoiler alert you can get it from Argus and get some gold with it from that crafted some crescent oil <laughs> I actually forgot to post it on the auction house so let's post it reach and I want to do something with that on my blacksmith because you can get a pattern from blacksmithing so I'm sending that to my blacksmith I am not using these Valager is the same thing I have the mount already and probably I can get some gold recipes from Felager. How you get that in your garrison? <laughs> okay. Um can you sign up for Ashran? You need to have a, a specific item that is actually unobtainable. So if you want to get that you need so you need the universal language module that is actually on the lower populated realms it's the most expensive item it's like 400k um, uh, the other items are pretty cheap uh, and if you just do this guy that is laying on the floor of the, the <coughs> how is it called this building <coughs> the trading post so you you just build a trading post up to level three and the the um, auction house bot will be there laying down on the floor in parts and you need to do the the, the quest and it's pretty easy and on fuller po uh, higher pop realms it's actually really cheap like yeah uh, I call um, 100k really cheap to get the auction house bot in your garrison. Really cheap co considering the auction house mount is 5 million gold. this on this character really um. this is just the best reason to have a second auction house account because you can just mess around a bit on your main account do raids and do auction house scans at the same time. I've got a video on why you want to get um, second account 
the four reasons to it. So if you don't have it, check that out. If you have, it's still good to check out. So I hope you guys have learned something in my stream that is something I find really important. I will keep the stream open for about a couple of minutes after. <laughs> I got your operation, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. You make money of my operations, Yasin. <coughs> I hope you get uh, lucky with your sales on your uh, stuff. So. Um, I will update my Discord. I will be occasionally um, replying to answers on my Discord. I need to update it. So you can add that channel on your Discord app. Just need to make an invite. Uh, I'm mostly up until 5 a.m. in the morning EU, EU time. So you can um, you can you can always leave a question there. You can always find my Discord, well, it's not always updated, but at my channel page, you have a couple of links at my channel picture at the bottom right corner. I'll update it right now as well. computer is a bit slow hey and there are some extra people at it also updated. <coughs> I 
Alright. Good stuff. I enjoyed the stream. I hope you did. And I will see you in an upcoming video or upcoming stream. See ya.